are you ready for? What's up, guys? It's Creeper XRP2 here, and yeah, we're finally here with the first cartoon rap battle ranking from worst to best. Okay, so we're gonna r be ranking all these solos. You probably can't see because I have the screen as the video and not the playlist, but you know. Today I will be ranking every CRB solo from worst to best up to episode 8. So when the semifinals are done, I will eventually do another ranking, but this time it's up to episode 8. So let's get started. So at the number 16 spot, we got, yeah, we got Cuphead's first solo. Now, not gonna lie, it's... Pretty mediocre, <laughs> like honestly, the rap instrumental ain't that good, the lyrics are terrible, and the flow is just bad. Nothing else to say about this, yeah, let's just continue. And at the number 15 spot, guys, we have, surprise, surprise, we have Spongebob Squarepants, okay, his solo is pretty good this the lyrics are good the ropes are good but the problem is this is a big problem by the way spongebob's voice is just so annoying and you know if spongebob didn't keep calling mickey gay after like every verse then he probably would have won this one Though I will admit, this part's kind of good. Oh, but there's something seriously wrong with you. Every sentence you would say, Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! And boys, at the number 14 spot, we got... Now, I kind of expected Mewtwo to have a better solo than Shadow. Because I like... No... You know what? No, I like them both almost equally. I love them both. I do not like Sonic very much, but I freaking love Shadow. Okay. And I freaking love Mewtwo. He's like my favorite Pokemon. But surprisingly, his solo was pretty mediocre. <laughs> you can barely hear him and you can barely understand what he's saying. But I will admit... The reason that I didn't put him any lower on this list is because of this ending right here. How about all feels this time? Guns are all you can use to fight. You can stop unless you're human in the grave. How about I go back and try and say when this war? You're coming. When you think of a story that's not only a taste of being the best and the way It always just a little fire and the rage that builds that But it was always because you are a doing It's a broken legend, okay? Stop being an empty thread That's what it all takes to make you a good character An empty thread yeah. is the Hold on <laughs> Yeah, that was freaking awesome But I'm sorry Mewtwo, you did not win this one <laughs> Alright, on to the next one Alright, at the number 13 spot, we got freaking Pikachu, guys. We got Pikachu up in here. And this is sad, because Pikachu is one of my favorite Pokemon, but his solo was not very good. His, like, it was the same thing over and over again. The same animation. Say, Pika Pikachu! And yeah. But I did like the part where Groot joined in, and also it was very catchy, okay? That's why it's so high on this. Well, it's not actually that high, but whatever. This solo is catchy, so that is why it is not lower on this list. Let's move on to the next one. And at the number 12 spot, we got... Yeah, we got Tails. <laughs> Freaking Tails, alright? Though his roasts were good, the solo was kind of catchy, but it does get annoying after a while. 
and I don't know why, but his, his voice is kind of screechy, but I don't know, man. this solo is kind of eh for me, but overall it was a pretty good performance, I'll give him that. And at the number 11 spot, we got my boy, Waluigi. Yeah, we got my boy, Waluigi, up in here. His solo is freaking good. Okay, his roasts are good. But there are better ones out there, <laughs> honestly. But, I mean, this one's really catchy. It's not that bad for, like, the second episode. <laughs> And his roasts are on Wario are pretty good, honestly. But I mean, it wasn't enough for him to win. Seriously, they'll listen to this part. <laughs> Garlic and maybe a few fame and riches, but that doesn't matter because you had not. Step on that stone that leads to our house because you're too heavy. You have, so you can see I'm purple. Purple can be the superior color, and all you do is show us that everything that you do is consisting of laziness. That is all you do every day because you cannot see. Because I am a trophy. But yeah, overall, this solo was actually pretty good. Alright, let's move on. Alright, here we go. We're at the top 10. But number 10, we got... No, it's not Cuphead's second solo. It's my boy, Bendy! Alright, we got freaking Bendy. His disses, I guess, are pretty good. Takala and the visuals, everything. Okay, that fire was actually kind of messed up. But that was when I would use sprites instead of backdrops to animate the solos. So yeah. But overall, this one, the way he brought out his band, Boris and Alice Angel and the other ink bendies. Oh my god, this is so good. As our heroes travel far in this cartoon universe, you're worthless. Yeah, like an eternal eclipse, I shine. Now put them to the test. Good. I have no idea if my mic was working that time, but that was a good one. Let's move on to to the next one. Whew. Man, I'm stuttering. This one was so good. All right, at the number nine spot, we got. Yep, we got Sonic. I don't. Well, I do, but <laughs> no, I dislike Sonic. But I mean, I'm a Mario fan, but. Sonic's was pretty good, not gonna lie. I mean, the visuals were good, the roasts were super good, the ending was freaking amazing. But the biggest problem is that his voice is too freaking low. Like, like, for a character that's supposed to sound more high pitched, like, and more smooth, like Deadpool or something. I mean, it's way too low, honestly. <coughs> but, he, he sounds kind of like Shadow a bit, and I don't like that. Uh, well, let's, let's move on. This solo was amazing, but, oh, let's move on. And at the number eight spot we got. Yep, we got Mario. I'm so I'm so, no, I'm not biased. It's just that's one was pretty good. Like honestly, the roasts that he has on Sonic are actually pretty nice. Honestly, <laughs> for real. And the fact.
fact that he freaking transforms like that, and he uses all of these transformations to try and beat Sonic Super, is just awesome, dude. Like, he's got the cape, too. And the best part of all is the ending. Just to watch. Y'all would believe me after this. Oh! <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. And at the number seven spot, we got... Bro, look at this. It's Groot. He's got everything, bro. His, his catchy. He even brought Bendy in there. Like, come on. Every solo with freaking Bendy and the gang is freaking amazing. <coughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> Just... Go ahead and count how many times I'm going to say freaking, and just, yeah, comment down below. Alright, yes, Groot is catchy as heck, and the auto-tune actually helps a lot, honestly, dude. <coughs> the visuals are great, honestly, for only the seventh episode, like, what? Yeah, the best part of all, yes, I'm going to say this a lot, f for a lot of the solos, but the best part is the ending. I am I am Amazing. Groot definitely took the dog. Anyway, on to the next one. Oh no, I fell. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. <laughs> Alright, and at the number six spot we got. For this, we're gonna have to go all the way back to episode two because today we have Wario's first solo. Yeah, this solo is pretty good, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty catchy, pretty nice. A very nice remix to write in like who wouldn't like this solo honestly well besides the fact that he repeatedly calls Waluigi a smelly two toes because you're a smelly two toes because you're a smelly two toes you but yeah other than that this solo is actually really good just listen to this part right here you will agree with me 100% I guess that means that you are nothing money. What's up, my money with double B? Yeah, it's all you but take and see. I'm in a rival for longer than you, and you only collide as a trophy. All you do is breathe and hold up. Where's the Nintendo controller? Oh, wait, that's all you have to pr prove that Nintendo loves you. Have you are a loser. I can beat with the power of lazy. Thinking you have a chance is crazy. All you can do is play the tennis. I, I can get the money. If I find I can drop the planets, and all you can do is hit people with a racket. Ha! <laughs> that's, that's lazy, dude. But oh my gosh, this I don't want to overwhelm you too much. Oof, I left the audio on, but yeah, this one is pretty breathtaking, not gonna lie. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, here we go, the top five. There are only five solos left. Let's see who we have here today. Today we have, that's right, we got Mickey's first solo. Now, this one slaps. Just, it slaps. His rough stars on Spongebob are pretty good. Honestly. Just, and this, pa this part in particular definitely slaps the hardest. Let's talk about your friends. One stupid, one's depressed. One's a greedy asshole. And everyone else is generic. Oh, I may be old. But I have the best of two shows. You're clear the legacy was closed after they made the third movie. Look at 
production company is greedy. The animation is cheesy. Your stuffed bears are pleasing. But don't make them too heavy. Oh! -ho! Now it does make... But yeah, this solo... Just... I, I don't know how to explain it. Just... <laughs> oh my... Dude... Just this one is amazing. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, it makes sense why Mickey won this one. <laughs> and at the number four spot, we got. Yeah, for this one, we're going all the way back to episode three Mewtwo vs. Shadow. Because our number four pick today is Shadow's first rap solo. This one slaps. His roasts are freaking amazing. To be exact, sh all of Shadow's um roasts are just true facts. Like, come on, who wouldn't vote Shadow in this one? <laughs> no offense to all the Mewtwo voters out there, but yeah, Mewtwo definitely lost this one. Just listen to this one. I'm gonna kill him with the chaos of old Kanto, Kanto. I'm gonna send him to the lab again. Mewtwo, Mewtwo. I'm gonna trap him in my master ball. God dang, Mewtwo. He'll never be more powerful, but it's alright. He think I'm a weakling, but really he's a weakling. He thinks he's better, even though he's a clone of Mew. Mewtwo, Mewtwo. Probably wanna die with chaos control. Oh my god! And the ending is just mmm. Probably the best ending of CRB for now. <laughs> All right, let's move on. And then our number three spot, not two. Number three, we got. Luigi, my boy, my dog, let's go. We got Luigi's first solo up in here, okay? Just, this one is smooth, amazing. He's got good distance on Tails. Yeah, he definitely won this one. And the fact that he brought in Professor Egad as like a backup singer. <laughs> and the cat, the cat as well is just amazing. <laughs> And the ref is even cheering for him. He's like, go, Luigi, you better win this. <laughs> the, somehow the referee always predicts the winners in CRB. Like, how? <laughs> or, or, anyway, let's move on bef before I have a freaking panic attack from how good this solo is. <laughs> At the number two spot, guys, we're almost done. We're almost done, boys. At the number two spot, we got, yep, we got Batman up in here, okay? Batman's is just amazing. The this is on Chadwick, rip Chadwick Boseman, and T'Chaka, and T'Challa at the same time. And also the fact that Sean is singing it. I mean, this is the first time that someone else has sung, you know, a person solo, like, but this one definitely, this was a tie. Like, I could not choose, man. But eventually, I had to pick a winner. And I'm sorry, it was not Batman. Okay? But not gonna lie, this part was pretty harsh. And intense as well. Now, let's talk about the movie biz. I'm a dark knight, you're 70%. You're age of old, turn him and when. And your church couldn't see the end. But every time I walk these calls, all I can see is you playing with yarn balls. But you can't catch me, cause you cannot glide. Cause you cannot glide! You don't want to be alone, but your second movie knows. They don't want to replace your weak ass. You'll always be left in the dust. Alright guys, finally, we're at the number one, the number one best CRB solo up to episode 8. We got, that's right, we got Black Panther's first solo. Alright guys, now Black Panther's 
freaking slapped. He freaking destroyed Batman. Honestly. <clears throat> I'm surprised this video didn't get a lot of views. Within the first few days of it upload. Like, it usually blows up. But this time, not. Nah, that wasn't the case. But I understand that you guys didn't like this video pr very much. But that's alright, because Black Panther's first solo was definitely a bop, okay? He roasted the heck out of Batman, making fun of his dead parents, making fun of the fact that he don't even know how to beat Grim, and he's even doing the coffin dance! Like, who can beat that? Honestly, for real. Look at Batman, he, even he's scared of Black Panther! Come on now! <laughs> you know, just listen to this. But he does not know how to be crying. Can't even be crying! Can't even be crying! But we do not know what to that or fail! But it does not matter because I'll beat you with this coffin dance, with this coffin dance. Yeah, it is unfortunate what happened to your parents, but you can join them in this coffin dance. Yes, that's no chance against this king or the Joker. Could be that cop. DC movies are pretty weird. Compared to me, Batman still thinks he's superior to Wakanda, but he's wrong. It's like my boy SpongeBob said, alright, get it. Get in the coffin where you belong. Black Panther, you delivered, you won this battle. No contest at all, Black Panther. You definitely took the dub here. But yeah, guys, that was my ranking of every cartoon rap battle solo from worst to best. Do you guys agree, disagree with my picks? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. And also, tell me. Your list of every solo from worst to best. Yeah, this is probably the longest video I'll ever make. But hey, it was worth it, you know? I mean, it was a lot of fun doing round one with you guys. Thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Cartoon Rap Battles. In Cartoon Rap Battles.